Uh, just briefly, uh, my name is Scott Pace, and I serve as the consumer member of the State Medical Board, uh, and I have inherited the role of chair of this subcommittee. Dr. Simon, uh, who was our chair, uh, was re uh, replaced on the medical board, uh, and she's still uh, free to be a member of this committee should she like, but she was unable to be with us today. So with us uh, are Dr. Tamara Perry from Children's Hospital, Dr. Curtis Lowry from uh, UAMS, uh, Dr. Representative Steve McGee. I don't, I don't know how he chooses what he goes by, but he has two different options there. And then, of course, Mr. David Ivers, who's representing uh, Medical Society today. So we appreciate uh, everyone uh, being here. And we'll try to stay talking into the microphone today. I know there were some issues at the last meeting and people being able to hear in the back. So we'll. Uh, try to make sure we make use of the microphones. Just to quickly uh, want to recap um, where we've been with this committee, was the genesis of this committee came from, and where we hope to be going in the very near future with this committee. Uh, the lawyer brain, he likes to kind of give an outline of where we've been and where we're going, so I hope you'll forgive me uh, for that. So the, the State Medical Board uh, was given a new telemedicine statute uh, this past legislative session by the Arkansas General Assembly. Senator Bledsoe passed that telemedicine statute. And one of the things that it did is it defined statutorily the definition of a patient-physician relationship. Uh, but in that uh, statutory definition, it also gave the uh, State Medical Board the authority to broaden that definition uh, as it saw fit. And so the board reacting to the new statute that was uh, given to us by the legislature created the subcommittee uh, as a means of vetting out what uh, an expanded version of a patient physician relationship could look like. And so that's really what the, the charge of this committee has been for the last two meetings is to say how do we uh, do our core mission, which is to protect the public, public health as the state medical board, but also uh, recognize that uh, telemedicine uh, is a route of practice that's available uh, and technology is expanding and growing and how do we protect health while protecting access all at the same time. And it, it, it incumbent in that is that a realization that there has been a lot of telemedicine that's been happening in Arkansas for a great number of years. We've had teleradiology, telepathology, uh, tele-ICU monitoring. Um, Dr. Lowry uh, has pioneered um, uh, teleneonatology. Is that, is that a right phrase? Kind of a uh, high risk OB with, with the ANGELS program. And those have all been very unique sets of, of telemedicine where you've had um, subspecialists on the end of the line, but you've also had um, either mid levels or physicians who had prescription authority on the opposite end, on the origin side and then on the destination side. So, what this committee has been tasked with looking at at the board is not just looking at what is currently happening in telemedicine in Arkansas, but how can that be brought in a way that's consistent with the statute and in a way that's consistent with our core mission of protecting public health. So the first meeting that we had was a, an open dialogue of all of the members of this committee who were selected by the State Medical Board uh, to hear input and expertise on uh, different methods of telemedicine that are happening and what people's professional opinions were regarding telemedicine. And that was a good dialogue, a lengthy dialogue for those of you who were here, but it produced some really good comments. Um, and after that meeting, we uh, decided that we wanted to hear from the, the public. And that public is a pretty broad public when it comes to who are the stakeholders in telemedicine. We've certainly got patients that are stakeholders. We have employers who are stakeholders. Um, we have uh, payers, such as insurance companies and self-insured companies that are stakeholders. Uh, and then, of course, we've got telemedicine vendors, the technology vendors, and ultimately the providers. So there's a, there's a big pool of stakeholders that we wanted to receive comments from, and we solicited written comments, received those, uh, and went over those uh, at length at our last meeting. Uh, and, uh, and while it was a little lengthy to do so, I think it was good to make sure that everyone's comments were uh, aired in an open fashion so that folks could uh, hear what every respective group had to say. So with that, we closed our last meeting uh, with a challenge to the committee members, which was to submit what you would consider as an acceptable broadening of the patient-physician relationship. So currently it exists that a patient-physician relationship has to be established by an in-person physical exam, um, the, the proverbial laying on hands, 
uh, if you will, from a physical exam standpoint. If you could broaden that, which the board has the regulatory authority to do, uh, pursuant to the statute that was passed this past session, what is something that would be acceptable to you as a committee member? So that's where we left off the last meeting, uh, and that's really where I want to pick up this meeting. Is that is, does anybody want to add anything to that from the committee? Is that an okay summary of where we've been? Okay. So what I really thought we'd pick up, one piece of housekeeping, we've got some uh, transcript of minutes from the last meeting uh, where Dr. Simon uh, went over all of the comments. Just procedurally, if, if anyone has any corrections to that or will remove that we adopt these uh, minutes of the subcommittee, I would accept the motion at this time of those. 